think we have earned a small reprieve through through your efforts at it. Battle still rage throughout the city, but it will be some time before Amarthiel can regroup and challenge our forces of the same intensity. We must go on the offensive if we can, and to do that we need information. Several positions throughout the city have changed hands numerous times in recent days, and it is my belief that these sites of particular are of su sig particular significance to Amarthiel. We fight to reclaim them whenever possible, but ownership of these sites is as fluid as the shoreline of Lake Nenunial, always in motion. I would ask you to journey to these volatile areas and defeat the minions of Amarthiel there, for some of them are sure to carry orders containing the future plans of our armies. If the Dunedain hold the site, look for the corpses of the enemies killed in the fighting and search them for such orders. We need orders from the th these three locations added from the courtyard of Gwailband to the northeast, where you encounter Rosaloth, from Chloric Chlorhir in front of the pools of Gling Glant, east of Ekeg Quartir, and Menelvan, the highest level of the city. Okay, so let's start by going down and then we can go up. There are Dunedain here, so... Apparently the enemy will attack at any time. There are no corpses, so they must attack very soon. Corpse there, though. Ah. All right. That means we can go up. This is Manal Band. And right there are the orders. This is Chlor here. Somewhere there should be something of the same sort. And the others. Not here. Not this one. Here maybe? Yeah. <coughs> and we go back.
What do you need? You have done as I asked, but I am afraid these orders do not tell me much. They are written in the black speech, and I do not know enough of that fell tongue to translate them. I had thought to send you to one who could read such letters, but it seems that may not be necessary now. I have received word from Kalinglad that fills me with hope. Our fortunes may be about to change at it. Would you do something for me? Kalinglad has asked you to asked you to return to his camp on Tinundir, and you should go at once. I will say only this: if the information we received can be trusted, a Martial may have made a crucial error. If we seize this opportunity, the Dunadan may once again have the advantage at it. Anumnas could be returned to us within the week. Go to Kalinglad with all speed, and you can judge the news for yourself. I will return to you the orders you collected. Kalinglad may have need of them after all. Final leg was right to send you to me so quickly at it. We have received information that could change our fortunes in the battle for Anuminas. One of our rangers, a good man named Torkirion, overheard a number of Angmarim speaking near the Ab Adanon, the city gate of the western shore of Lake Nenunial. They spoke of Mor Mordrambor, one of the black Numenarians sworn to Amaldiel, a fell sorcerer. Mordrambor is one of her cruelest lieutenants, and Torkirion knew to listen closely. Before the Angran Angmarim moved beyond his hearing, Torkirion heard them speak of some urgent errand Mordrambor plans for tomorrow night. He will travel with a small retinue beneath the light of the moon to Haut Elendil. What he hopes to accomplish there, Torkirion did not learn, but he learned enough. This is our chance, Edit. This is our opportunity to gain the advantage in this battle. We must capture more Drambor. Speak to me if you and your allies are willing to do this. The rangers of the north have learned that more Drambor, a black Numenorian, leading the councils of Amar, is traveling to Hout Elendil with a small retinue, hoping to seize more Drambor. The ranger stage an ambush. What can I do? Kalinglad speaks highly of you, Edit. If we are successful this night, he will speak more highly still. Mordrambor has entered the tomb of Elendil and will surely emerge in a moment with his servants. If we can retain the element of surprise, my brethren and I will be more than a match for him. Present, your, present yourself to this lieutenant of Amarthiel and lure him to this end of the causeway. He will fall upon, we will fall upon him and take him prisoner. Then we shall see what his trusted servant of Amarthiel may be able to tell us. This foe is no weak, no way weak, Edith. You will be in danger as you lead Mordrambor to our position, and we will not be able to help you. If we reveal ourselves too soon, all will be lost. Tell him something that will make him curious enough to follow. Perhaps you have found a weapon that can be can destroy him. He will doubt such a weapon exists and following you willingly to disprove it. Luck be with you in this edit. Alright. Why would I not strike thee down, little dwarf? Mordrambor's smocking smile wavers lightly when you tell him you have brought a, a mighty artifact at the other end of the causeway and it spells his doom. Almost immediately it returns. I admire thy courage, though it be foolish in the extreme. I will go with thee to this artifact and give thee the death thou seemest to crave.
what happens. Nothing? How can I be of service? Well done, my friend. Well done. Amarthiel will not be pleased with his turn at all. Tell me now. Let me know when you're ready to leave and we shall return to Tinundir with our captive. What can I do for My heart leaps with joy at it, for we have done what I could never have imagined, taken one of Amarthiel's trusted servants captive. She will feel his loss at it, I am certain of it. This may be the advantage we need to push Amarthiel's forces from Anuminas once and for all. It seems my decision was the right one. We are now closer to retaking the city than we ever have been. When have we be when we have done so? We will take the Palantir from Amarthiel and put an end to the threat of Angmar forever. What do you need? I can hardly believe our good fortune added. Take now these orders and show them to our prisoner. He will tell us their meaning willingly, or he will be made to tell us their meaning. I do not imagine Amarthiel inspires anything other than fear in her lieutenants, and this black Numenorian will surely tell us what we need to know if he feels he will be spared. My people have prepared a prison for the captive. The ranger Tadan has volunteered to guard him. Tadan is a good man, a strong man, and will see that Mordrambor's bond remain unyielding. Enter the keep here in Tinundir and take the door on your left up the stairs that lead to the prison. Bringing this sheaf of paper, papers to Mordrambor and demand that he tell us their meaning. He surely has knowledge of the black speech and will tell us what, what we must know before long. The sooner he does, the better our fortunes will be, for I have no doubt that he will do so. How may I help you? I remember thee, foolish warden. I know the number of thy days, and they are few. Let us speak while then, for thou wilt soon fall beneath the threat of Angmar. What hast thou brought to me? Writings in the black speech, most beautiful of all the tongues. Thou canst not read these words? I weep for thy ignorance, foolish warden, but I will take pity on thee, for thy struggle will soon end in pain and grief. I will tell thee what great Amarthiel plans for the wretches who cling still to this lowly city. Show me these pages. I will delight in foretelling thy demise. Thy numbers are few. These words are great. These words sing of thy death and the death of all the Dunedain, foolish warden. The pages tell of Amarthiel's loyal servants to await the return of her emissaries who have travelled to many lands seeking new allies. The waters of the lake have, have been as a road for Amarthiel's emis Amar Amarthiel's emissaries, and they carry gold with which to buy the loyalty of new servants. Cold-hearted men on an island far to the northeast, the Gauradain to the northwestern hills, the fierce and savage, the Kergrim great beasts that stalk among the crypts of long dead kings. When these servants return from across the great water, such number of new allies sworn to the Iron Crown will come 
in their train that none shall hope to prevail against them. I have a sneaking suspicion that the boat or the boats are going to come in clutch during this quest line. So here and here. What's this place called? The Eve Spires. Let's start with that place. The other would be right next to the other boat ride we took earlier. Greetings. The Eve Spires. I want to go there. If you seek to stop my negotiations, you are too late. The Gorodain fight now for Amartian. To me, my allies. Someone's coming from over there. That's quite far away. We can wait. Just you. chance have you you are too late fool a martial's reward will reward those who serve her faithfully and well and such i have done these men will serve her well when they come to fight in the old city and i will be rewarded for bringing them but first i will destroy you What can I do for you? Now, the two emissaries that um, we have dealt with so far, I kind of imagine that this one won't have been as much successful. You know, these are, these are mindless beasts and, and so on. As you can see, corpses of wild Karen Grimm. I don't think, you know, you, will you know. Perish. These beasts have no interest in gold, no matter. I will crush you myself and bring your skin to a martial as an unexpected gift. I will speak to Tadan.
You bring both good news and bad at it. That the emissaries have been defeated is one worry put to rest, but I fear the loyalties of the tomb robbers of Ranthost and the Gauradine of Emin Uyal are, al are already purchased. We can count ourselves fortunate that the Cairngrim have no long love for Angmar's gold, but that is no large gain in the face of such great opposition. Whoa. Kugumimenuial brought me, brought me some baked goods and a few choices for dinner. You're welcome to help yourself some, to some of it. I think she felt badly that I have to spend all this time in the company of a prisoner. I do not like carrot cake, so you'd be doing me a favor by taking that off my hands. But you can help yourself to some of the rest of it as well. 